Hi, it's Katie. I'm going to teach you how to play Fix You by Coldplay. All right, let me teach you the bass line first because it's kind of important. It goes like this. Start on E flat. And then here's how the rhythm goes. If you know the song, you'll recognize the bass line. And you'll hear I take a, a few liberties with the rhythm um, compared to the, the original recording, and that's fine. As long as you get the basic structure down, people will know that. People will know you're playing. Okay, let's go over the right hand now. So the right hand chords, the first one is E flat. This is the intro and the verse chords, by the way. I think I fa failed to say that. E flat. Then your second chord is G minor add six. That looks like this. And the way you play that is just a G minor chord and then add an E flat at the top. There's your six. Your next chord is C minor seven. And I'm just playing uh, the top notes and I'll play the C in the bass. And the next chord is G minor uh, add six with a B flat bass. So it sounds confusing, but just look how I play it. You'll get it. And then the next chord is E flat again, and it repeats G minor add six, C minor seven, uh, and then a B flat add four. And here's your four down here. Okay, I'm also going to teach you an easier way to play it. Um, it's more of a beginner way, so it doesn't sound, oh, what's add six, what, uh, I'm, uh, I'm so confused. Okay, it's okay. We'll teach you a beginner way, and if you play it the beginner way, people will absolutely still know the song, and they won't even know. Most people can't tell. Okay, so here's the beginner way. Just play your E flat to a basic G minor to a C minor seven. Oops, that's a C minor seven. And then a B flat, E flat again, G minor, C minor 7 to a B flat. So you see all I did was take out, all I did was take out those add 6 over blah blah whatever that sounded confusing, advanced music theory, who cares? Okay, you can take it out. Alright, but let me show you how the way Chris Martin plays it, how it actually fits with the rhythm. Okay, so we have a little intro. Ooh, let's play it right. Basically, that just keeps repeating through the whole verse, that it's only, you know, those two kind of patterns put together. Okay, let's go to the chorus. Yay, my favorite part. Okay, so we have A flat is the first chord. The second chord is E flat over G. So what that means is E flat chord in your right hand, and you can play a G in the bass. Then we have a B flat sus4. And then we have A flat again. So it's basically this is the pattern A flat, E flat over G, B flat sus4 to B flat. Again, let's go over that pattern again A flat, E flat over G, B flat sus4 to B flat. Okay, let me show you how that fits with the rhythm. It goes like this. Uh, oops. Lights will guide you home. Okay, now, after the first verse, there's a little part that goes like this. Let's see. So let me teach you the right hand of it. It's pretty simple. It just goes G, E flat, G, D, G, E flat, G, D, like that. And your left hand, you can play like this, E flat. This is uh, part of a G minor chord. Again. Okay, let's put those two together. So it goes like this. Okay, 
Okay, then you repeat your second verse, which we've already learned the verse. And then back to the chorus, which we've also already learned the... Ooh, let's play it up here. That doesn't sound good. Lights will guide you home and ignite your bones. And I will try to fix you. Okay, now, at this part in the song, if you've seen the video, this is the cool part where it starts building and he starts running. He's like lost in the street somewhere and he, he starts running because his band is on stage without him in front of like the biggest crowd ever. So he's like running, running, and then he like finally gets there and gets up on the stage and there's like a huge crowd waiting and he does that thing with the light. Okay, if you've seen the video, you know what I'm talking about. If not, I look crazy right now. Um, anyway, let me show you what happens during that running part. The chords are E flat, hold for four beats. One, two, three, four, next to A flat, two, three, four. E flat, two, three, four. B flat, sus four, B flat. Now C minor seven, two, three, four, to A flat, two, three, four. E flat, two, three, four. B flat, sus four, B flat, and that whole part repeats. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to mimic the uh, guitar part as well. So you can either just play the chords, sustain them four counts each, or you can uh, mimic the guitar part, which actually is kind of fun and not that hard. Mostly the guitar is just playing E flat over and over, over like this. So what I'm gonna do is keep doing that while I play the, the piano chords. So it goes like this, E flat, A flat, E flat, now B flat sus four, to regular B flat, now C minor seven, to A flat, back to E flat, now B flat sus four to B flat. Okay, and that pattern keeps going and then he starts singing, uh, how does that part go? Tears stream down your face, that part, okay? So I recommend just holding the chords while you sing that. <laughs> so it's gonna go like this. Tears stream down your face when you lose something. Uh, and then the B sus four here. You can replace. You can tell I don't know the melody that well here. <laughs> There's your A flat to E flat. And now your B flat sus so four to B flat. Keep doing it. Here's your E flat, A flat, back to E flat, now E flat. And G minor seven. Oh, here's a new one. We didn't have that. Okay, let me tell you where this comes. When he sings, I promise you, I will. The learn from my mistakes. I promise you, I will learn from my mistakes. That part. So it goes. I promise you that I will learn from my mistakes. It's a G minor seven chord there. Back to C minor seven. Yay, my favorite chord. Tears stream. A flat down your face. E flat. Dun, dun. To B sus four. Ready for it? to regular B flat. Okay, then after that whole repeating part where he's acting like a totally amazing rock star on stage, then it goes back to the final chorus where, um, yeah, I think in the video he sits down at the piano and it's like, oh, it shows how awesome he is. Like, back to the chorus. Lights will guide you home and ignite your bones. At the end, you can play down an octave, and it'll be really sweet. Anyway, so kind of a fun song. Um, you can tell I'm a little bit obsessed with the video for that one. But if you haven't watched it, watch it because it's really, it's a really sweet video. And uh, if you want to learn how to play more Coldplay songs, just click on any of the links on your screen and have fun. See you next time.